tell us a little bit about Austin Energy. Austin Energy is the eighth largest uh, electric utility uh, that is municipally owned in the nation. We have just under half a million customers. Uh, and as you may have heard, Austin is really the place to be. Uh, not, not long ago, a few years back, uh, US News and World Report uh, ran this list of best places to live. Sure enough, they put Austin as number one. And ever since then, folks have not stopped moving in here. Tell me about your background and your role with Austin Energy. I'm Vice President of Customer Care Services for Austin Energy. Uh, and I've been there almost three years. It'll be three years this July. Uh, before that, I was at another electric company in the Midwest uh, with two and a half million customers, and it was an IOU. And I was there for over eight years. Utilities have a long history of working with customers having difficulty paying their bills. What are some of the innovations and new things you're doing to help your customers in their time of need? Well, one of the good problems to have for an electric company is a city that continues to grow. And Austin has, has done that. Over the last decade, we've grown more than 30%. Our population has. Uh, but with that, just basic economics come into play. The minute you have a city that a lot of folks want to be at, and they're coming in, um, buying homes, uh, many of them from other areas where home prices are you know, much higher, uh, they come in and, and, and drive prices up. Rents go up. And as rents go up, cost of living goes up. That puts pressure on our moderate to low income customers. Uh, so we certainly have seen that affordability is a concern uh, at Austin Energy uh, in the city of Austin. Uh, and we have tackled that uh, in very significant ways. Uh, we created a customer assistance program that I think uh, goes above and beyond what your typical utility will do for the customer. We came up with a holistic approach because we knew when customers have affordability issues, it's not just about the utility, but it's a lot, about, a, a, lot of, a lot of other things come into play. It's a complex problem. It includes food, shelter, and of course, utilities. Uh, we partner with over 54, with 54 not-for-profit agencies uh, that are in the city, in every single neighborhood in town, providing services, one source type of services. Um, and we created a very robust problem in, a program in the customer assistance program uh, that allows us to help people where they are in their communities without us having to be there personally through this network of partners. What are some of the programs and initiatives underway at Austin Energy to help customers pay their bills? Let me start with a discount program. First and foremost, um, if you are part of one of eight different uh, federal assistance programs, uh, we automatically enroll you into our discount program. Talk about removing barriers for those moderate to low income customers. We immediately bring you on board just because you happen to be uh, one of our customers. Uh, and that's the gateway. Uh, that's where you first come in the door within days of you becoming a discount uh, recipient, a discount customer, we send you an invitation to come and meet with us in person at Austin Energy. And this is an invitation to spend uh, two to four hours with us where we're going to educate you on all, of, all, all that we have to offer. And it goes above and beyond that discount. And it goes beyond uh, income sensitive payment arrangements. We actually provide free weatherization to those who qualify. Uh, and we even teach them about basic household budgeting, how to plan your budget so you can really understand how much there is left at the end of the month to pay for utilities. Uh, we also tell them about our weatherization program. And if they are interested in it, if they own the home or their condo, we sign them up right there and then. Uh, and that's another big way um, some of our customers that are struggling to pay their bills, when they rent a place, they don't rent a, a, a late model house, right? They rent uh, a home that may have some, some, um, some energy efficiency issues. And we work with landlords and property, manage, property owners uh, to, uh, to work and, and potentially weatherize those units, assuming they have a significant population of moderate to low income customers. We also have other programs like uh, um, arrearage management, uh, where we work with you uh, to ensure that we give you an income sensitive payment plan uh, that meets your needs. 
uh, we do case management for those customers. So we, we work with them and we talk to them at least once a month if they have any, anything that comes up in their lives that could put their utilities at risk, we have a conversation. And the good news, as I mentioned earlier, we have a network of 54 not-for-profit organizations. That includes their local churches. So when our case workers, because by the way, we've hired social workers to, to help support this segment of our customer population. Um, when those customers struggle, we know exactly who to refer them to. So even though they may not need help with utilities, they may have a bigger problem, we know who to refer them to within their neighborhood, in their community. The bottom line is we talk to them, we create an action plan, and we, remind, we let them know, we're here for you. You're my customer. You're the one that pays our bills. So we want to make sure that if you ever have a problem, you call us. You know who to call because the worst thing that can happen is you don't talk to anyone and your electricity is disconnected. We want to make sure that you avoid those problems. How are you measuring success with your customer assistance programs? The most immediate thing is that as a CD that has experienced tremendous growth, we have seen also growth in our customer base that needs uh, help with discounts. Uh, we, you know, a decade ago, it was probably four or 5,000 customers. Today, that population is 32,000 customers. Uh, and I think one of, the, first and foremost, one of the things that I believe is a significant success is that we've managed to provide the same level of service via the discount and weatherization without creating, without having wait list. If you qualify, you're in the program and we will give you the discount. And if you qualify for weatherization, we'll help you with that too. What's next for Austin Energy when it comes to helping your customers pay their bills? We do annual reviews of our programs. One thing that we learned was that uh, because some areas of town are becoming hip and, uh, you know, 20 years ago you could, you could rent or buy a house there for 50000 bucks. That same lot may be a lot of money now, so rents and mortgages are going up. So we are seeing shifting within our territory of folks going from what used to be an affordable area to a hipster area that is more expensive and they will move to a different part of our, of our community. As we have seen those shifts, we have uh, noticed that some of our plus one partners, and I'll get to that one in a minute, some of those uh, partner agencies we work with may not spend so much in one side of town, but there may be another area on a different zip code that is depleting their funds much faster. So we shift the funds from one area to the other uh, to make sure that where that customer lives there's sufficient support to meet their needs. One, one significant program that I left out, which I was just alluding to, is the plus one uh, financial assistance. Uh, because there are times when customers need more than a discount. Uh, and that's when the, when the customer gets to the end of the month uh, without enough money. And they may need, again, food and shelter. We refer them to those uh, partners that we have. Uh, and many times they need financial assistance, and we provide that through the Plus One program. We have set aside some funds that uh, allows us to uh, participate with those partners. So by giving a little extra um, to help support the utility uh, assistance, we also help those partners because now their money goes even farther and they can help the customers.